Oh, guys, like, um, so this is going to be like another wee wild journey. Uh, welcome to my public diary. Um, <sighs> so, <laughs> hmm. I am like mid uh, feeling like I am throwing myself like a um, bitching fest, a uh, pity party, um, need complimentary uh, uh, temper tantrum celebration. All in one. It's, it's all happening. All at once, you guys. <laughs> so. Okay. Let's just start. At part A. <laughs> part A. This being right here. Candace. Yes. Tis I. I'm learning how to be me. Um, I kind of forgot uh, or, um, lost track, and, um, I'm, uh, in my infancy again of learning how to do this thing called life, as this thing called Candace here, um, and I'm feeling pretty, like, ah! like, really, guys, seriously, at first, like, a month ago, it was like, I was saying, like, it felt like somebody just pulled the rug out from underneath me, and, Everything I knew was just gone. Like, every, like, my whole flow, right? And then, this, like, that was like, whoosh, washed out. And then, whoosh, in came the next. So, just as fast as the other thing, like, disappeared. It's just like Candace, right? Candace is like, do, 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 right? That's, that's Candace's life. That's Candace's brain. That's how we get shit done, apparently. Um, in kindergarten, they gave out awards when we all graduated, okay? It was like this little badge with stickers on it with different images representative of what we were celebrating, like our word, our superpower, right? Alexa, stop. And I got the Motor Mouth Award and it had the picture of a lawnmower on it. Um, and then in first grade, they were going to skip me a grade because I was excelling and interrupting the rest of the class because I was always done before everybody else. And then <laughs> they didn't skip me a grade because I was already really young and awkward and they didn't want to make it harder for me. Um, so <laughs> then in second grade, I swear, worst teacher, okay, guys, I'm sorry. Like, the teacher takes the cake <laughs> for being like... The bad teacher award. Sorry. I don't like using good and bad, but I'm doing it right now because I'm in that kind of mood. Uh, she used to make me sit on my hands. Um, like, in reading circle. Um, I couldn't just sit there and, like, wait for my turn to read. Or, I don't know, I just... I need to move. Like, I'm a very movement-oriented person. I take conscious time for stillness and conscious time for movement. Um, I'm very flowy, and, uh, ah! so, <laughs> the moral of the story is, <laughs> oh, I'm just sitting in this deep state of recognition of the movement and the flow and the structure and the restructuring of my life. Um, where I've been, where I've come from, where I'm going, um, and seeing it all, like, all of it, right? Right here. <laughs> um, and I've moved a lot. So as a kid, we moved around a lot. And then when I, so for those of you who are new to me, um, I grew up, um, in an environment so I grew up in Worcester, Massachusetts, which is where I'm moving back to. That's the whole big switch, another one, you know. And growing up there, my life was full of and just woo! lots of drugs and alcohol and parties and violence and gangs and woo! stuff. Um, 
And then I took on that life myself from the age of 14 to 21. Um, I became heavily addicted to all drugs <laughs> and alcohol. And in the end, crack and heroin. Um, deep, deep, deep love affair with crack and heroin. I quit everything when I was 21. Um, I left Worcester when I was 19. And for a while, I could not go back. I could not. It, it, it just, it, it was too big of a trigger. Like, I... When I stopped using drugs and alcohol, they diagnosed me with a lot of different... Like, I was severely traumatized, essentially. And, you know, you can... So many, you know, DSM manual uh, things. And I was on... Um, a few different medications for the first like two or three years um for you know whatever they diagnosed me with don't need to get into that whole story and um who after you know two or three years of being off the drugs and alcohol I weaned off the medication and I didn't really associate or identify with the disorders and the diagnoses um, that I once had when I initially came off the drugs and alcohol. And I felt I overcame that. It was no longer an issue for me, so to say. And a few years ago, with going blind, things changed. And I've been fumbling for the last three years, trying to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing and how the fuck I'm supposed to be doing this. And um, for the first time, things feel like I'm in flow. And moving back to Worcester feels like what I need. There's a sense of familiarity there that I've not experienced as a blind person. I could go on and on about all the good reasons, the positives of me moving back to Worcester. But what I really need to talk about right now is <clears throat> um, what this has brought up for me. And the stuff that I'm now facing inside myself. <sighs> like I said in my post earlier, like I am facing my fears in a way that I could have never fathomed for myself. Moving back here um, and <laughs> yeah, just whoa and then today finding out I'm not going to be going back to Worcester today I'm supposed to be spending today through Saturday with my mom for New Year's neither of us wanted to be alone we had some beautiful plans to connect and have some adventures together but the universe had another plan which is amazing um like, but at the same time, it's triggering us. And it's exactly the medicine we need, though. The medicine of being alone. And the pain that it brings up. And the fear. And this feeling of being alone. And when it shows up as a reality. And we lose perception. We lose touch with how never alone we really are. <sighs> so, <laughs> today set forth some really powerful healing conversations between me and my mom, and me and myself, and my all my parts. And especially little Candace. Little girl Candace that's scared to be alone. That doesn't trust herself. 
or feels vulnerable or like something's held together, right? Um, or she's gonna do something wrong or fuck up. Um, taking the time to hold witness to how well I've taken care of myself amidst feeling completely incapable. Taking the time to pat myself on the back and feeling really humbled by life as well as myself in my journey and feeling pieces and parts of myself coming back together in a clear view and a vision in a way I haven't felt in a while. (sighs) And (laughs) celebrating and joking with my mom about how much we don't want to be alone and all the wild, crazy ideas we get of... um, Yeah, <laughs> um, it's been fun. Let me just, I'll just say that. Like, if you think I'm wild and like, woo, my mom takes the cake, okay? Um, and I'm not gonna <laughs> share. But if you go to my YouTube, you could see some of my mom, and you will be seeing more of my mom since I'm gonna be spending more time with my mom. My mom is awesome! I'm so grateful. And that's. The other piece and she sent me a message like telling me she's feeling better and like she's like okay I'm just telling myself you're still coming you're just not coming today <laughs> um and it feels so good to be wanted to have somebody that wants me near them and that is putting time and energy and effort <sighs> without me having to do something without me having to be or show up a certain way Um, I'm really experiencing like little girl Candace being held by their mom in a way that I really need to feel right now as well as my mom being able to feel being a mom ah And us being able to have adult conversations and laugh and... Oh, me and my mom, I swear, this is not our first life together, you guys, if you haven't heard me talk about it, like... And that's another reason why I feel the universe uh, chose that we are not together for New Year's and we are able to support each other at a distance. Um, Because me and my mom have lived many lives together to be like, you know, in just in this life, in this body. Like I, if you guys don't know, I call my mom, my teenage sister, mom, daughter, friend. Um, we've done drugs together and drink together and you know, so we've experienced some things together and obviously I've witnessed ourselves and each other in containers that some may not see as mom daughter containers, but that's the one we got. And yeah. Oh, so last thing I want to talk about because I don't know what's going on. I've been dealing with a lot of back pain. Uh, at first, I thought it was emotions, and then I thought it was poor diet. Um, but now I feel it in my womb. And I feel like I might be getting my moon. I have to look at my YouTube videos and stuff to see when I had it last. I feel like my moon cycle has definitely shortened. Um, I'm getting it every two to three weeks right now. And if you don't know what that means is I'm or we as persons experiencing a menstrual cycle, a moon cycle, a period, um, the symptoms happen 
before, during, and after the blood. Um, so, uh, <laughs> all right, guys, I'm gonna check if anybody's here saying anything. And there is this part of me that wants to say, if you're also going to be alone over these next few days and you might want to spend some time together and you're, you can come to Manchester, New Hampshire, feel free to reach out. I may consider it, but there's this other part of me that's saying celebrate being alone and just be alone. But there's another part of me that's like, well, as long as I'm not giving or putting out and I am receiving and being held um, I might be open there's certain containers um, about the energy I think I might I might be open to letting in over the next few days but I'm not sure yet I'm still figuring it out <laughs> uh, yeah okay I'm going to check this Holy shit, this is really close to me. I don't know if you guys can see my face. Hello. Um, hold on. I'll answer that. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very responsive. I have a lot of messaging I have to navigate. And so sometimes, especially these days, I'm not dealing, I can't, I can't, I'm, I'm really inwards right now and not letting a lot of energy in. Um, I'm in deep self-care mode and very protective of my energy. Um, so yeah, I'm not as responsive or communicative. Um, and as far as going back, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are parts of me that are fucking petrified. Um, but I also know this is exactly what I need. And I also know how to take care of myself. Um, I know there's certain areas I would not and could not live. And there's certain areas I, at this point of time, don't see myself going alone. <laughs> um, yeah. I think, I think that's where I'm at with all that. And those are all, that's the thing. These are all conversations. Like I have to take some time to really research, um, and visit certain neighborhoods, um, to see, you know, where I would want to live and where I wouldn't want to live. Um, what kind of community, what neighborhoods have what I need and, and what I want, you know? So it's going to take me some a little bit of time to figure this out. And I have to go back and forth. I still have to figure out, you know, I have to go back and forth to Worcester and figure this out and stuff. Blah, 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 blah. So, but anyways, I'm here now. I'm only worrying about today, today. The rest of it will be managed when it is. <laughs> I'm just here now navigating this moment. And I'm going to check this and I'm going to bounce again. Why is this? Hi. Yeah, and the other thing about connecting with me, you know, uh, a lot of people reach out and want to connect with me. What I need in order to really feel into my yes or my no with connecting, um, whether it's for a session, uh, personal or professional, both. Like, it doesn't matter. Um, I need, I need open, honest, clear, authentic communication about one's interests and desires for connecting. Um, if, if it feels like I'm pulling teeth to get information, um, and understand, you know, and, and establish a connection. Like, I'm not one of those people that gonna meet somebody without talking to them. I like to establish and talk to someone and know I'm 
going to enjoy connecting with them or I have interest having them in my home, in my field or getting in their car. Um, you mean, this is my space, my field. And I don't, I'm not going out for coffee and shit. Like, um, I don't waste my time and energy. I don't like doing that. I don't like being in uncomfortable situations. And so we can weed all that out by just being more open and communicative in our conversations. Um, I know many, many people have reached out wanting to connect with me and really not telling me much. Like, I can't, no, I won't meet with somebody in person. I don't like doing a lot of back and forth thing. I don't like feeling like somebody's hiding something or not telling me everything. Um, and I'm usually a pretty good read, so... Uh, I have to honor myself, and um, you have to honor yourself, so blah, 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 that's that. Okay, my hair is everywhere. Meow, meow! Okay. Bye, beauties! Two. I can do this, you guys, I swear. Close. Are you sure you want to watch my video? End video.